this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and it's raining saplings! What, why, why is, why is it raining? Why is it raining saplings? <laughs> Only in Stampy's lovely world. Um, oh, I was really expecting to turn around and look up and see someone there. Oh, I see someone. I see you. <laughs> you can't run away from me, Longbow. <laughs> uh, in this video, I am going to be joined by Longbow as well as Ank. Hello, Ank. And hello, Longbow's finally decided to join me. Good morning, everyone. Are you too excited? Because you should be excited because it is so, so, so nearly Christmas and I am finally getting in the uh, Christmas spirit in my lovely world. I've been kind of neglecting the uh, the festive season until now, but we're finally going to be getting festive. There we go, throwing snowballs already. And I don't have any snowballs, but I'll throw eggs. I'll throw a Christmas egg. Yay! <laughs> oh, dear. Um, do either of you have any um any food in your pockets at all? You see, Lee Bear is still not around, and so all I gotta do is eat. So I got I got five saplings and a carrot. Have you got any? Oh, what was that? What was that? I, oh, oh no 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 no! I, I'm sure that I'm sure that you had something else there. No, you know what? I only want Lee Bear branded cakes anyway. He makes the best cakes. I think Lee Bear would be upset if he found out that I had been eating somebody else's cakes. And I'm actually getting a little bit worried about Lee Bear. It was quite a while ago uh, where I came up here and he left a sign saying that he'd gone on a picnic holiday somewhere far away. And I don't know, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit suspicious about this. I think maybe soon I'm going to have to go on a, a little bit of a search party and see if we can find him. But for now, we are celebrating Christmas. But before we do that, I of course need to add someone to my love garden and the person I'm adding to my love garden today is BE56 which is I'm sure not their <laughs> their real name but that is their their username and they sent me this picture of a stampy cat face they made out of food and you can see it's all made out of popcorn and oranges and biscuits and <laughs> all sorts of crazy things and I think it looks absolutely amazing uh, so creative uh, using all of those different materials and I wanted to say thank you very much BE56 and welcome to my I love garden. Anyway, I should probably mention what we're doing today, seeing as my Minecraft helpers are already hard at work, despite the uh, <laughs> the googlies attacking them. Are you are you attacking that skeleton by trying to wave bread at it? <laughs> um, I, I don't think that's um I don't think that's an effective way of dealing with googlies. There we go. Using a diamond sword might be better. Yeah, what we're doing today is building snowmen. We're having a little uh, snowman building competition. We're not really a competition. We're not against each other. It's just a, a snowman building day. And uh, so uh, myself, uh, Ank, and Longbow. Uh, are going to be making a snowman each uh, that we've got to get completed by the end of the video and I'm going to be doing that while being joined by... Let's have Duncan and Mittens with us today. So Duncan uh, is sitting down here looking very patient. Uh, so let me go and grab Mittens and uh, they can join me while I'm building my snowman. And uh, some of you uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, may remember last Christmas, uh, I did the exact same thing, and I built a snowman called Frosty Longnose. And this year, oh, Mittens, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to to barge in here when you're when you're using the uh, the kitty litter down there. I'm sorry, Mittens, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, last year I built a snowman called uh, Frosty Longnose, and I decided that this year I'm going to build Frosty Longnose's son. So I'm going to be building Frosty Longnose Jr. And uh, he's going to look a lot like Frosty Longnose, uh, but I'm going to make a few key changes uh, to hopefully make him look even better. So uh, if you remember that last video, uh, he was basically a pretty traditional snowman, but with a very long nose and a really nice pretty staff, uh, scarf as well. So I'm going to build him about here. And I think this year, I'm going to make him, I'm going to make him a bit, a bit bigger. Uh, the last year, he was just very skin, uh, skinny and long. And uh, this year, I think I'm going to make him uh, just a bit, a bit, a bit wider at the bottom. And then his head will be the, the same size as last year. And Mittens and Duncan seem to already like him. So I'm going to build the body up here. I guess I'll go about, I'll go, I'll go three blocks high, I guess, all the way around here. And uh, then this is about where I'm going to begin adding in the scarf. And I do want to get this done uh, pretty quickly. Uh, just because after this, I want to go and try and build a Christmas tree. I always have a Christmas tree in my clubhouse uh, every single year, and this year is going to be no different. So here we go. This is going to be the body of the snowman, and I'm going to go and do a red and green scarf. So all I need to do uh, is go around the outside like this, uh, alternating between red and green, and then this is going to be his nice scarf. Then I'm going to go in slightly thinner, 
I had to try and build his head. And already this is bringing back memories of last year's Frosty Long Nose. So uh, I've still got some snow. Uh, so let me go and place this down here. And uh, let me build up for the heads. So I think I've got one, two three four i think maybe actually i need to do the um i need to do the eyes as well so i might as well do the eyes now so let's do one eye there and then let's go up a little bit higher and uh, then let's go and do the the same on this side here just so i make sure i got the eyes in the right place on the front in the middle like that and uh, let's build up here it's gonna look really weird ah, it looks like he's kind of like a crab at the moment let me go and have a look there we go frosty long crab ah! <laughs> oh, that looks so silly. Right, let me go. Let me go and fill the rest of his face in because he is looking absolutely ridiculous right now. So let me just go and uh, for now, uh, just pile up using a, a little bit of this dirt uh, so I can get on the top. And uh, let me go and fill in the, the rest of his head. And uh, I also, uh, last year, gave him a big top hat. And so what I think is a uh, frosty long nose uh, could have passed down his hat to his son. Uh, so I'm going to go and build him with the, the same black top hat. There was a time where I built pretty much everything with a big black top hat. And <laughs> I kind of want to start doing that again. And oh, I'm sorry, our mittens is stuck inside the snowman. <laughs> she's made a she's made a little house inside there, just just for Christmas. She can live inside. <laughs> oh, that'd be quite, quite cool. I could actually make it into a little house. I could make it into a little house. Maybe maybe I can make this into a little house for Duncan and Mittens, and they can just live inside Frosty Longnose Junior. <laughs> that would be so cool. A little a little house for them two just to spend uh, time together over Christmas. Oh, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I am gonna do that. But first, uh, let me go and try and get this hat done. So I'm gonna go uh, all the way around the outside here and then I'm just gonna build up in the middle and oh please be careful up here Duncan please be very careful right, let me just sit down Duncan for now uh, until we want to get back down here mittens will be fine up here mittens does not get hurt when she falls off places Duncan on the other hand it uh, does and so I want to be very careful let me just slide him a little bit out the way oops steady <laughs> so I can carry on uh, building the hat and I think I'll go let's go let's go three high I'm not I'm not sure how much I did it last year but let's go uh, about three blocks high uh, all the way around here actually two blocks will be okay I think this will be a nice size for a hat and uh, now I need to just try and get down and get Duncan down without either of us getting too hurt so Duncan you can stand up but don't run off steady good boy Duncan and where's my pile of dirt it's down here so if I go down here and break my way down and whoa whoa that was <laughs> that hole was bigger than I remember <laughs> Oh dear, let me, if I run far away, uh, hopefully Duncan will teleport to me. And there we go, he got down safely and Mittens has now left Frosty Long Nose. So uh, what I can do uh, is open up the back here and then I can try and get them inside. Look, Duncan is already trying to get in there. Let me just go and slide Duncan in and Mittens normally follows wherever Duncan goes. So hopefully uh, she's just going to go and uh, come in here anyway. Uh, let's go and put a few torches in here. So, oh, no, that's not a torch. Uh, a torch here and a torch there so we can see what we're doing. Mittens, do you want to come in here? Nope, let me go and let me go and give you a little bit of motivation to go inside. Let me just slide you along in here. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna block them in. I'm gonna make them a, a nice little door in a second uh, so they can get in and out. Maybe a, a nice little cat or doggy flat so they can get in and out. Anyway. Uh, he's almost done. He's not far off being done. There's a, a very obvious thing that he's missing. Uh, but before I build his nose, uh, let me go and make a uh, quick crafting table. And uh, I'm going to go and actually make him some buttons. He hasn't got uh, any buttons at the moment. So uh, if I go and place down this crafting table down here, uh, I've got some uh, stone blocks on me, uh, which I can go and make into some stone buttons. I need one, two, three of them. Uh, so I can place these along the front. And I'm also going to change the scarf a little bit. I'm going to make it uh, look like one little bit uh, is drooping down the front. The front here so let me just go and uh, oh, drop my stake uh, go and break away a bit of the snow and I can go and make the the staff go down a little bit to the the side here hi guys <laughs> and uh, now I'm gonna go and build the nose and so I've got lots of orange wool here until which I make the nose slightly bigger than frosty long nose maybe every year I should make the nose a little bit longer until the nose is just a ridiculous length and it was already <laughs> a kind of ridiculous length last year so uh, let me go and build along here go to about here and uh, let me go uh, I can't actually build any more because I'm in the way. If I go and build these blocks out here, I go out to here and then here and then here. There we go. <laughs> here is Frosty Longnose Jr. He's almost done. Uh, the only other things that I really need to do is add on his arms. And let's have a look how the how the other guys are doing here. They seem to be building very, very, very big snowmen compared to me. And look at that nose. It's ridiculous. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do... And so I'm going to go and make myself a, a few fence poles and I'm going to actually use these uh, in order to make his arm so I can have one arm coming out uh, of the, the side here. 
you can come out to here and then here and then maybe go forward a bit oh it's kind of connecting up uh, to the the love garden a bit so tell you what this arm uh, can be just stretched directly out and then the other arm can be bent and then that way they can still kind of be the the same length so this one can go out to about here and uh, I might make them holding a torch actually that could be quite cool I kind of got reminded by the fact that it was getting dark and I wanted to, to light them up but yep yeah, I could go and put a torch down there and so there we go frosty long nose juniors holding a, a torch in that hand and uh, then the other arm actually, I think I did that arm a bit low I should do them a bit higher I might change that one uh, it won't take long to do uh, so this one uh, I need to make a, a few more fences I'm actually going to do holding a candy cane I'm going to build a massive candy cane uh, which he's going to be holding uh, just to, to make it even more festive uh, than it already is so there we go there are a few more fences for his arm so I can go and stretch this out. I'll do it out to uh, here maybe and then go forward to about here. And uh, now to make a big candy cane, uh, all you need is a uh, white wool and a uh, red wool. And I don't actually have any white wool on me. Uh, so I'm just going to use snow for now. So if I just go and put that there and then go like this, then like, oh, nope, <laughs> that would be some spruce wood, not some some red wool. Go to here and then here. And then if I go like this and put the red wool there and then put the snow down, please don't fall off there. And then if I get rid of that dirt, it should look like he is holding a absolutely massive candy cane. I think this is going to look good. Uh, let me just go and add one more block on the underneath down there. And uh, let's go and uh, let's go and see what it looks like. That looks great. That looks like an amazing candy cane. So I'm going to sort out this arm uh, just because I think it should be a, a little bit higher uh, just underneath the, the shoulders here. So let me go and break that away and uh, go and add this along like this. And then I can go uh, across like this. There we go. It has got a, a little bit of a bend there. And I want to go and put the, the torch back down. And I kind of in general just want to put uh, torches all over the place here. Can I put it on? There we go. Oh, no, I need to add the door as well, actually. I need to add the uh, the door so uh, Mittens and Duncan can get out of their, their new festive home. So uh, let me go and just grab this door. And I can go and place this down the, the back down there. You guys happy in here? You having a good time? Let me go and throw down some food for you all. There you go. There's some bread there for you, Mittens and Duncan. I know you will accept nothing other than the best prime steak. So you can go and have that. There you go, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. And uh, let's go put some torches up around then, shall we? Let's go. I'm going to go put some on the, the candy cane. I'm going to put it on the inside there. And uh, let me just go and put some actually on... Um, uh, on um, a frosty long nose as well. I put just some on the back here uh, and uh, on the back here as well so he's going to be nicely lit up. Uh, anyway, uh, while Longbow and Ank are finishing off their snowmen still, I am going to go now and head up to the clubhouse to build my Christmas tree and I'm going to do it in uh, almost the same design as last year but um, I can't actually remember exactly how I did it last year so <laughs> I am going to be making it up uh, a little bit at the same time and hopefully uh, Santa is going to be back again this year uh, to put some presents under the tree so uh, this is where I always build the tree. Uh, let me go and just grab some of my spruce wood <laughs> and start building it up here. I guess we can put it about in the middle here and uh, we can build this up too. It doesn't need to go all the way up to the ceiling. I think actually up to there will be uh, just about perfect. And then I got uh, a bunch of spruce leaves, which I've gathered earlier. And I can go and build all of these around the outside. So if I keep going around the outside like this and... Um, I think the best way to, to build a Christmas tree in Minecraft, especially when you're building it quite small, is just to make it go wide and then thin and then wide and then thin. And then you can kind of make the uh, the traditional Christmas tree shape I found. So I can go and put this uh, the whole way around here like this. And I might actually make it go out a little bit further just because this is the bottom row uh, on these sides here. I might make it go out even a, a little bit wider uh, around here just so I can make the, the proper Christmas tree shape. And then as I said, on the next row, I'm going to go in a little bit thinner. So I'm just going to place them uh, around like this. And then here's going to go out wider, uh, but not quite as wide as I did uh, the first go. So let me go and build this the whole way around here. And then um, let me think how to do this. I want it maybe like that. Maybe just with the, the corners not filled in. Oh, no, let's go Let's go a little bit wider. Let's go out to about here. It's kind of a bit whoop, <laughs> hard to get around. And just break away the corners maybe. Uh, so if I go and build out... Uh, here, here, and here, and then here as well, and then try and fit round. Um, I think I'm doing this uh, a little bit wonky, but it doesn't matter. I'm just kind of getting the, the general shape, and then afterwards I can go back and look at it all and uh, make sure I can fine-tune it and make it uh, exactly as I as I want it to be. So I think if I uh, go and break away... I think this side looks good here, the way it's kind of like that. And so uh, I think this side is the same as well. And uh, I think this side is good. And uh, I think this side just goes out a little bit too far here. And so I kind of want to go and do it so it goes to 
uh, just here and here. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. And uh, now I need to go and uh, build the, the top. So it's once again uh, on this level, uh, going to go a little bit thinner here. And actually, this might be a, a good way to, to see if it's level. And oh, nope, it is completely wonky. I think I need to build it out a bit more there and then there. There we go. That looks good. And uh, that side looks good, as does that one and that one. There we go. I finally uh, made it all equal. So here's the top of the tree. And then on the very top of the tree, we need our tree topper, which is going to be made out of glowstone. That's like the, the star on the top of the tree. And uh, now all I need to do is make my way back down, getting rid of all of the dirt that I left all over the place. <laughs> and I can go and admire my Christmas tree. Let's just go and get rid of this dirt here, as uh, rid of this dirt as well. And uh, let's go and uh, check out what it looks like. I think it looks nice. Um, it's a bit wonky, isn't it? This side, this side needs to be uh, built out a little bit further. See what I mean? You can kind of do the general shape, and then you can go back and look at it all, and just go and do some of the the tidying up, doing go and do a bit of the the pruning. But there we go. I like that. I like that design for my Christmas tree. So uh, what I want to do now uh, is go and decorate it with some mushrooms. And uh, mushrooms are kind of a bit like baubles. Uh, you can put them all over it and uh, decorate it. Uh, sadly, you can't put torches on the tree because uh, you can't place them on leaf blocks. But Mushrooms can sometimes be a bit tricky in terms of where you can place them. Yeah, it's not letting me place it here. And I think that's because it's probably a little bit too light. It won't let me place it there either. There we go. It's letting me place them down here though. And here as well. Uh, but it's not letting me place them here. Well, let me go up a little bit higher and see if it lets me place them on any of these ones. Uh, it's not here. It's letting, me, it's letting me do it on the ones over here. And on the back, but not the wand on the side. And I think it uh, might be because of all of these windows here. Let me actually try uh, blocking off these windows a little bit and uh, seeing if it will let me place down uh, any more of these mushrooms. I have a feeling uh, that it might actually let me. Look, there we go. Now it lets me place the mushrooms down and on this side and on this side. But if I get rid of the dirt, uh, the mushrooms should stay uh, exactly where they are. But oh, <laughs> I'm smashing. Oh no, I'm smashing all of the glass. This, this, um, <laughs> this shovel is so strong. Oh no, I smashed more. I'm literally over. Only pressing to hit it once and it's just totally destroying them so what I need to do here is just the the same on this side hopefully not smash all of the glass up again but uh, just block off these windows a bit and uh, then that way uh, it should allow me to place down all of the the mushrooms that I want to is it gonna let me now place them there we go now it's letting me place them down here here and here here and here there we go I think that's quite a nice pattern and I'm probably gonna go and smash the windows again if I use my pickaxe it's still really good at getting rid of the dirt, but I'm not destroying all of the, the glass as well. <laughs> this picket, this um shovel, sorry, actually annoys me because of how good it is. It's just too effective. And there we go. I smashed a bit more glass, but I can go and fix that in the future. So let me just go and uh, get rid of all of this dirt quickly and go and pick it up all off the floor. And then I can go back and admire my beautiful Stampy's lovely world Christmas tree. Ah, oh, it looks lovely. I should go and put some, some chest down. Oh, no, no. Some of the, the mushrooms have gone. Some of the mushrooms have gone. I'll, I'll sort that out, though. I'll sort that out. Right, is there a crafting table round here before I make another one? Aha, there is. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put a few chests under the tree. And the chests are basically like the, the stockings. And so hopefully uh, I'm going to go and get some presents. And these are going to be chests for Henry, Hilda, Harrison, and Harriet. So uh, I can have one chest there and then one there. Oh, no, not there, not there. That's a double chest. No one deserves a present that big. <laughs> one chest there, one there, and uh, one there, and then one there as well. And let's put some other chests in here, just in case some uh, of my friends uh, get lucky and get some presents from Santa too. So there we go. Here are all of my present chests underneath the Christmas tree. And hello, Ank. I assume that you are finished. Oh, hello, Longbow as well. Uh, can you get me a drink, actually, please, Ank? Seeing as you're behind the bar. Can I have a glass of milk, please? There should be some uh, behind the bar somewhere. I'm getting a little bit thirsty. After all of this building, I want some some good some good eggnog. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. Anyway, see as my Minecraft helpers have come to join me, I assume that they have probably finished building their snowmen. So uh, let's all go downstairs here, and uh, we can go to my balcony, and uh, we can look out over all of the snowmen, and uh, we can see which one we like the most. And uh, we've got a little bit of music there. We've got DJ uh, Longbow there on the decks, <laughs> and uh, what perfect timing! It's becoming morning. So there's Frosty Longnose junior and uh, this one here i think this is longbow's one which is <laughs> an enormous upside down snowman <laughs> he doesn't look very happy about it either and uh here's angst and oh <laughs> angst is holding its head 
<laughs> yeah, Lang's one's pulled his head off. I think that's amazing. They're both so cool. They kind of put my one to shame. My little nice Christmas tree traditionary one, uh, traditional one. They got these really hilarious ones. <laughs> it looks like that one's about to throw its head as a snowball at someone. That could be a little bit dangerous with that pointy nose. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway... We have just about run out of time in this episode here. Uh, so I want to say a big thank you uh, to Longbow and Ank for joining me. And uh, is that is that your one there, Longbow? Is that, is that the one you're standing on? Is that your one? Did I get them the right way around? No, I think I did. I think I did say them the right, round, uh, the right way around. Anyway, uh, there's the end of this episode here. Uh, my next episode, we are going to be having a nice Christmas inside of Stampy's lovely world. So I hope you join me for that. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!